Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we're going to be talking about the vast majority of crypto and finance. With that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So, it's been roughly 24 hours since I posted this over on X, where I said March of 2023 called. They want their headlines back. In all seriousness, go check out the Bitcoin chart from March of 2023 to now. When the bank started collapsing back in 2023, it was a catalyst for crypto to pump even higher. Now, this is not going to be the only bank collapse. It will continue to be a big problem, and I've talked about this on multiple occasions. Banks are not a safe place right now. Um, but outside of this, I followed this up with this post saying that the bank collapse should mark the local bottom for Bitcoin and crypto. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. Now, today, Bitcoin is trading almost at 63.6K, but that is not the interesting thing. We will obviously talk about that. We will go over it um, on the 24 hour span. There is a lot of altcoins bouncing back in a big way, which is very exciting. Um, as we look at the top gainers and losers, this is what it looks like for the top 500. Again, like I said, there's a lot of uh, price movement across the board for a lot of great altcoins and projects. Um, but also, you know, what's funny about this is the uh, fear and greed index. It's still at 50. 58, which is neutral, which is very, very good. Now, a big thing to focus on is actually Bitcoin dominance. Guys, we are starting to see Bitcoin dominance weakening, just like I said in the video from yesterday. This is what Bitcoin looks like, by the way, as well. I had this key level on the chart outlined at about roughly 62.4K. It was almost going off of this wick back here from uh, March 22nd of uh, this year at about roughly 62.3K. So far, this has held up. Um, overall, on the daily, MACD, the momentum is starting to cool off, and it looks as though we are getting ready to flip this into bullish momentum, which is very good to watch. Um, RSI still pretty neutral so we are looking for a big move to the upside um, on the 12 hour on the lower time frames this is what it looks like this is the 12 hour this is the four hour so we are getting some nice momentum here again MACD momentum is starting to turn while the RSI is having a pretty strong bounce here which is very very good to look at now on the weekly we are not um, sold just yet because on the weekly it is still very bearish RSI is still at over uh, bought area um, areas and we need to watch uh, this chart closely for a bounce to 67k we still need to reclaim that but as I've said on the lower time frames things still look pretty good we still need to see a little bit more in terms of price action um, but I do think that the big moment for Bitcoin and for the rest of the market is going to be the week right this week coming up is the big time to shine and why is that well just like I said back here in terms of this bank collapse it is technically a catalyst for crypto to go higher. Over here is a great post by uh, Bar Chart. We have S&P 500, SPX, post best week in six months. This is what we are watching for, right? So this is actually pretty strong, uh, to say the least. And this is also the future so i've been watching the futures along with looking at this chart and i'm like all right well this is actually a very very interesting sign because just like back in march of 2023 when we got the bank collapse there was panic everywhere and what ended up happening after was a rally on the s p 500 a rally on the bitcoin uh, chart and also across the board this is the futures as of today we have the Dow up about 165 points, nothing too crazy. S&P 500 up about roughly 49 and a half points. Again, nothing too crazy. NASDAQ up about 200 and almost 70 points. And also the Russell, if you want to follow the Russell, it's up about roughly 22.9. But what this is telling us is that everything is up on the future. So we are expecting a strong open. Is that going to happen? We don't know yet, but if we look at the S&P on the monthly, we are fighting resistance here. So the question is, are we going to flip this, right? This is what the weekly looks like, and this is the chart that Bar Chart is actually posting over here. Again, it was one of the strongest uh, weeks for the S&P 500, and we are actually getting a nice bounce here on the RSI. 
The big thing to focus on here is just reclaiming significant levels, specifically breaking over that um, significant resistance area at about roughly 52.65. Now, if we look at uh, the moving averages here, we did get a nice bounce off of the 20 weekly EMA. And we've had bounces off of this in the past that allowed us to actually squeeze higher. The question is, are we going to break to the upper level, AKA break over this 52.65 level? That will be the big area of focus this coming week. But so far, there is a nice bounce on the S&P 500 on this week. Um, if we look at the futures, futures are green. So we definitely have to take this as we get into next week um, as a big sign to focus on. This is going to be a chart that I'm going to be watching next week. I'll possibly even update you guys on it as well and really kind of put a focus on it. Now, outside of the S&P 500, the DXY, guys, weekly, it closed right around resistance. This is an area that we need to watch because if we are getting a close like this, I am expecting us to back test this, uh, uh, this trend line down here. So if we are going to back test this and range on it before the next big move, I'm fine with that. Um, but ultimately we are watching for a break below this trend line because that will be a bearish formation on the DXY. There's still the opportunity that the DXY gets a nice back test down here or possibly even from here gets a move to the upside. Both of these could happen where we have a back test of this before going up or we just go up uh, from this resistance zone. We need to watch the DXY closely this coming week uh, because we should get confirmation of what's com coming next on the, uh, on the DXY. Now, with that in mind, the DXY going down is bullish for Bitcoin. And so far, this doesn't look too, um, it, it doesn't look too convincing for a big move to the upper 110, 109 level. But again, this week, is going to be the big moment um, for a lot of these charts, including even the DXY. So we're definitely watching this closely. Now, outside of Bitcoin, outside of everything, right? What have we been talking about? We have been talking about alt season. There's a great post put out by Parabolic Pump and we have altcoin season loading. Attention, Bitcoin dominance is about to repeat this historical pattern. Once Bitcoin dominance breaks this rising wedge to the downside and starts trending lower, altcoins will finally have an epic alt season. Study this in-depth post where I give you the ultimate altcoin season guide. Let's dive into it. Altcoins will gain strength versus Bitcoin in 2024. In the coming months, the general altcoin market will finally have the perfect conditions, or sorry, conditions to outperform Bitcoin. There are many arguments why the Bitcoin dominance chart is topping out right here, which is great views for altcoins. What's the best strategy for 2024? If you haven't positioned yourselves in altcoins already, do it now. Now, again, as I've said, I do think that this is the local bottom for Bitcoin. Is there a possibility of us, you know, trailing to this level up here or possibly even the 70K supply zone before having that nice deep wick? Sure, that's a possibility, but I'm not betting on it. And in fact, I'm already positioned in, in altcoin bags. Remember, this is the biggest buying opportunity for the entire bull run. Altcoins are at historically oversold levels on the daily chart, and they technically are, right? Like outside of Bitcoin, most altcoin charts do not look like this in the last couple uh, months. Like this is Bitcoin. Going off of those 2022 lows, guys, Bitcoin is up significantly all the way to this top uh, week, uh, wick. It's up about roughly almost 383%. Now, yes, all coins have outperformed Bitcoin so far this season. But if we if we actually look at some of these old coins, even in the top uh, 100, but even in the top 500, let's go to the uh, top 500 over here. Or let's just go to the top 200 technically and go all the way down to the bottom. So I could click any of these altcoins and they haven't had a very significant move in the market. I mean, you have altcoins like Track, right? So Track did have a nice move in the market. If we look at this, right? But it's still under its all time highs. Guys, in alt season, altcoins don't just go ha like to the halfway mark of their all time highs and sell off. That's not alt season. Just to show you guys what alt season looks like, here's ADA, okay? This is what alt season looks like, where we have that previous all time high and we have the altcoin going absolutely crazy and going to new massive heights, AKA all time highs. Now, not all 
altcoins will make all-time highs depending on how they look depending on their structure things like that um but that's like we're still expecting a big alt season because alts have not really ran that much but going back to this right we have the general market sentiment is dominated by fear uncertainty and doubt right now market participants are scared and some are even questioning if an alt season will ever occur and yes i have been noticing this in fact i have a lot of people saying like oh we're not going to see the rotation from bitcoin because a lot of it's in etfs guys there's so much money behind bitcoin outside of the etfs this is exactly what I like to see. Peak fear on altcoins while Bitcoin dominance is about to break this pattern to the downside. The stage is set for an epic alt season uh, or altcoin season. Make sure to be positioned in the right crypto narratives. The top three so far is AI, real world assets, gaming. Um, in the long term market cycle, we are still at discounted levels for altcoins. There's still so much room to the upside. I'm expecting a, a conservative target of around 35 to 40 percent for Bitcoin dominance. And I could definitely imagine a case where Bitcoin dominance makes new lows. Looking at the charts of altcoins, it's evident that they are primed for massive upside in the next weeks, especially taking a look at smaller cap altcoins that got hit the hardest. The real fun for altcoins will begin very soon. Like I said, altcoins are setting up for huge pumps over the next weeks and months please do not lose hope in your old coins how many times can we say old coins in this video but regardless right outside of uh the jokes they have been dumping the past few weeks and yes it's because of the bitcoin uh dominance chart actually do not get shaken out now be patient rest assured that in the next few uh months everything will pump stay focused we are getting closer and closer to the best part of the cycle and here you have the old coin season 2017 2021 and 2024 now this is what Bitcoin uh, dominance looks like currently. Now, this is on the monthly, and I've talked to you guys about it, right? We're still fighting that trend line, and um, I've outlined multiple times on why this is about to have a breakdown. Momentum is getting um absolutely killed like this is slowing down and we're about to turn into that red zone which is technically every single bull run for altcoins. This is what we see. Currently, we are waiting for a break of this structure. Now, you could go back to uh, June of 2023, just for an example, and look at where we are at right now. We're still waiting for uh, confirmation on this chart of a break to the downside. But realistically speaking, this trend line goes all the way back to just December of 2022. We've been riding the waves for a while now. The question is, do we get a big break to the upside or is this the time to actually break down? And in my video from yesterday, I talked to you guys about how this is ready to actually break down. If we look at the weekly, this is what the weekly looks like. We are about to lose this trend line. We're actually in the progress or in the process of uh, you know, losing this. If we look at the three day, Again, bearish formation on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Here is the daily as well. We lost the trend line already. And the question is, are we going to just fight against this and break down even further? That's the big sign, right? That will be the big sign that alt altcoins are about to go crazy. But I've been addressing this chart for a very long time on the weekly and even on the monthly. So far, yeah, on the monthly, this looks great. But this is significant resistance that it's trying to flip. So I'm expecting us to actually break down. Watch for the trend line on the bottom to be lost. And this goes all the way back to uh, December of 2022. You could see some of the moves here, right? We've had a slight break from here. But ultimately, I'm really kind of just watching it like this where we have a nice um, level here to watch for Bitcoin dominance. We're actually squeezing between both of them, that top trend line and that bottom trend line. And we should get confirmation this coming month, May, um, of this actually breaking down or breaking up to the upside. So watch Bitcoin dominance closely if you are in altcoins heavily, because this will determine if altcoins are about to full send. Now, I've been talking to you guys about the total three. Guys, the total three has been looking very, very good. This is on the weekly. We're still waiting for an impulsive move to the upside. We could still have that tap of that bottom trend line, but I'm not expecting it right now. I'm expecting us to go up to this upper trend line and retest that first. This is also the daily. We're still ranging here, just waiting for a move on this chart. And so far, RSI has been ranging in uh, an uptrend while the price has just been kind of ranging sideways. We've been waiting for a move on this chart so we're waiting for that big impulsive move to the upper trend line um, and that will determine if we break to the upside or if we reject come back down to this uh like roughly 600 and like 36 billion dollar level or if we get a back test of that bottom trend line um 
on the next move. Again, we don't have confirmation of what's happening yet. We're just kind of ranging sideways before the big move. So it's kind of just like a calm before the storm. Now, most altcoins, the big thing to focus on is their Bitcoin pairs, which I've been telling you guys about for a while. Here's the XRP Bitcoin pair, Ethereum Bitcoin pair, and even the HBAR Bitcoin pair, followed by the ICP Bitcoin pair. Here's XRP. Again, just ranging sideways. This is on the weekly against Bitcoin. Momentum is still starting on a lot of these altcoins. Now, XRP technically is the last to run. It usually does run last. Um, I've been following this chart for a little bit of time. We're, we're just ranging sideways, trying to shake people out in terms of impatience. This is getting primed for a big move to the upside, just like most altcoins, even Ethereum, right? I followed this up in a recent video uh, where I was talking about Ethereum. RSI going back to October of 2023 has been trailing to the upside. This is hidden bullish divergence while the price has been ranging to the downside. Now we are watching for a big breakout. So far, we got a nice impulsive move to the upside, but we still need to break to the upside above this trend line on uh, the upper level, right? And we're waiting for a higher high formed on a lot of these uh, Bitcoin pairs. Ethereum so far is beginning a big move. This is what we want to see on a lot of the altcoin pairs when it comes to the Bitcoin pair. Here's HBAR as well. HBAR recently tried to break out of this uh, macro downtrend going all the way back to February of 2023. We're so far holding that bottom uh, trend line, RSI, trailing to the upside, very similar to Ethereum. And now we're just waiting for a big break to the upside above this trend line and getting a weekly candle close above this trend line to confirm a much larger breakout to the upside. ICP also just kind of ranging sideways. It's almost in a bull flag formation on the macro going all the way back to December of 2023. But I'm watching for this one to have an impulsive break to the upside as well, because right now all we're kind of doing here is just doing this, waiting for this or waiting for this. Now, again, as we look at where all coins are right now in terms of the total three Bitcoin dominance as well, I'm expecting ICP to break to the upside on the Bitcoin pair. Dominance is the key thing to watch. But before we get excited about our altcoins, before we get ex excited about Bitcoin and things like that, we still need to watch the S&P 500, the DXY. The futures right now are telling us that, yes, we're still looking pretty good, but we need to watch for Monday's open closely. There's also a lot of uh, discussions around the Fed, what the Fed's going to do next. There's things that can determine what the market does next. But like I said, the... Bank implosions, these these collapses that happen around these banks, guys, it's very bullish for the market in the macro. In the short term, yeah, you see a little bit of a move to the downside, just like we saw yesterday on uh, the daily. Here is the daily uh, chart for Bitcoin. Yesterday, we got a nice tap from 64K all the way down to about roughly 62.5K, and then we rebound it. And look at the daily candle close. Guys, daily candle close closed on a pretty significant level this is the level that we need to hold 63 point almost 4k we actually got a higher uh low formation here which is very good but the question is what's the weekly kennel close going to look like well that's the big moment that's the big thing that i'm watching for the weekly is still pretty bearish until we actually break structure meaning we get a weekly kennel close that is a higher high so far things are just kind of ranging and ultimately we're in that accumulation phase on uh, Bitcoin where we're just kind of going sideways waiting for a move. But as I've said, I do think that the implosion pretty much told us where we are at right now in this market. I do think that Bitcoin is about to send um, over the course of the next couple of weeks and even months ahead. The next like on the macro, there's nothing to be panicking about, in my opinion, on crypto. I do think that by the end of this year, everyone is going to be pretty excited and happy with what this market does, because right now, we're watching all coins and all coins look ready to have a full send in the market. And just like parabolic uh, pump is saying over here. Yes, I do believe that an epic alt season is coming. Definitely pay attention to what matters here when you are in altcoins. I am not holding Bitcoin right now. I have zero Bitcoin exposure. I've told you guys about this on multiple occasions. I'm all in on altcoins right now. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys want to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.